Hi, John here. It's Sunday still, and I'm just resting back at the moment after running around the place, uh, getting ready to go down to the East Coast for the meeting in um, Gisborne uh, with the Te uh, Tumutumu Pairoa Trust, the old Maori Trust. Um, meeting on a couple of land blocks, Arataha land blocks in Tigtigi, uh, to meet any of the owners that turn up to the meeting. If not, I'll be there uh, to deal with it. Um, already trusty on hitting a A12 block, and I'm going back to take Droney here, Drone, Drone, to um, take photos of the land block and draw it all up. You'll see it online. I'm just going to model out um, a model um, project plan. Um, just one or thirty blocks that I'm going to go into each one of them once we get up and running uh, with our projects, the first tidal energy project for hydrogen manufacture. Okay, that's our theme. Uh, at the present time with um, what I want to do there on that block at Port Awanui. And so once we get Cook Street sorted out and Waitangi, Marae and the Chiefs, Kingi Total, we're on our way. In the meantime, I just want to make um, a bit of clarity on what I've been doing today with um, the court hearing on Cook Street and the fact that John Key's government is running corrupt in similar circumstances as the US federal state government uh, and Hillary Clinton and um, um, Director James Co Comey, FBI. Um, so you'll see I put those documents on my Facebook and also a video on the same subject between what's happening with the Jesuits who are the threat of the whole world in their private elite business disrupting or tampering with the normal government process of people who are trying to be honest the fact that the Jesuits are sitting right there in that film and making signs and to each other. There's a conflict. There's a conf real conflict right in the middle of due process and justice system is hijacked. I'm showing the hijack with others who are exposing the fraud inside the system of these Jesuits. Now, all I can see is they are operating from France. So you'll see the violence in France. Those people in France, you've got problems with your Jesuits. Anybody in that sees Jesuits that are doing these evil things to the land, to the people, to the government, to the police force, to the military, to everything going on, to the churches, report it and round them up. This is what's going to happen once Hillary Clinton's taken out and arrested and hung under this flag of Admiralty. Obama hung under this flag because he's using martial law which comes out of this flag. For those people in America, this is the flag of Admiralty contract law. A contract on someone's head comes from this flag to assassinate them, comes from this flag of the king. There ain't no king in America. There's no king. This is the only king flag in the world that has a contract. And they are using this contract, abusing it because the queen let them use it. And she's a conflict of interest. She's the head inside the Jesuits from the monarchy side of King William III. Booted 
King James Catholic out of Britain. And that's going to happen again. It's going to happen again with the Catholics and the Popes in collusion with the French and the Jews, causing all the trouble in the world from the elite people. I'll make this video quite clear to you. <clears throat> in my own case, they are manipulating the police here, and the police are liable now. You're all liable to this bag, and I'm saying to the Americans, they're liable under this law of King William 1832-1837 contract law, private contract law, defaults when they can't answer. This is what's happening here, and they're going together. Your case in America with the investigation of the Hillary Clinton emails is similar, similar fashion of the Queen Jesuit operating that scam sham business for their own private needs. And they are compromising or they are libeling each other in lawsuits now. This year goes above them all. So I'm saying to those uh, um, um, lawyers and, and, and those um, congressmen, I mean the congressmen in the investigation committee, not the Jesuits, the Jesuits are hiding in amongst the congressmen. And it's easy to see that Jason, he's the chairman, is identifying who's who by the way he speaks, and he's catching them out, and that other black man there is a Jesuit. You see, he went like this, like this, to cut their head off if they call me, doesn't tell the truth, uh, tells the truth. He's there to disrupt the truth. That's what, that's what the Jesuits are sitting in that Congress. They shouldn't be in there. They should be taken out and hung with this law right on top of them. This, this law is our law in the native court. This native court on Waitangi Marae, King's Bench Court, will supersede any other law in the world using Westminster's laws to put contracts out on the common people of the world. The Queen is doing that. She's liable. She's going to hang because of that, what she's doing with those popes. The churches, she's, they've hijacked, she's hijacked the church. She's the supreme governor of the Church of England. She's not the Queen of Britain, UK, England and Wales. That's the difference between her monarchy and this monarchy. One's a queen contract and one's a king contract. The king contract belongs to us. It does not belong to the Pope. He has hijacked <coughs> St. Patrick's order of the eight-point star that we're going to take off. We're going to strip it off in court in Westminster and the High Court in London. That's where all this authority comes from, those kings. The Pope does not have kings. He does not have admiralty court law to make money. This is a money-making flag. And this Governor-General in this country, right back through the years, has given over to the Queen, who has given over to the Pope and to the Rothschild banks the power and the mana inside this flag. And our Maui statue, she stole. Queen Victoria stole my Ma Maui statue of, of our Tahitian people here in Ngāpui, Tainui, and Ngāti Pro, Hapus, stolen that memorial belonging to the Pacific Island people and all that vast expanse of land is back in British military and British government contract with us as it was in 1834, 1835 with King William III and King William IV reign. Those two kings kick the Catholics out and leave the Protestants with their St. Patrick's order in Westminster.
with us, the contractor. Everything is contract, and that's that. Okay, so that's what I want to do with my court case on Cook Street. It was 1 bar 61 Cook Street before they changed it to 77 Cook Street and 98 Willesley Street. That's, I'm going to show you the fraud inside that mortgage on the landlock transactions and title changes. Right, there's fraud with the Panama tax havens right in that landlock, right back through one title stacked on top of the other, back through to the original owners, who's which is us. Okay, in Britain, UK, Westminster. I'm just indicating to my barrister where he is. I can't find him. I've been trying for two weeks now to try and get a hold of him and to no avail with messages left on his phone, in his office, and I can't go into town to see him because I don't know where he is. I've got a complaint to the Law Society about that because they're getting paid from the mystery man that I signed and someone countersigned to get money out of an account that bears a name called John Monoa. I want to find who that person is inside that system of theirs with the Jesuits. You're liable, the whole lot of you, all the Jesuits through the world, is now liable with this flag under contract. You're under contract with me and my chiefs here, right through the islands, all the chiefs in the islands, not their plastic ones with the Queen. You can write them off the bill. The bill, 970 million trillion trillion pound note, the green one you see on my Facebook, is going against all of those elite families and at least 2.5 billion people out of 7 billion people getting the bill. A trillion pound on each of your heads from this flag. Now, we'll soon see what sort of flag this is made out of. It's a king's flag of jurisdiction. Constitution 1835 and authority of the king. That's all there is. Military flag, that's about it. And free passage through the world. And that's what I'm saying to America and Britain, UK, England and Wales. Now, Altair, New Zealand, England, Wales and America. And boot all the Jesuits out. And all those ministers, those people who are concocting all that um, threatening stuff against the citizens of America and all the Commonwealth countries, 38 com Commonwealth countries in the world, using Admiralty Law to cause terrorism, fraud and corruption. It was made, this flag was made by the kings for pirates. To hang them if they got in the way between us and England and Wales. That's it. Scotland, you are the Scottish right causing all this trouble. Nicola Sturgeon, I'm putting this right up against you and the Scottish rights in France that's causing all these trouble in the world because of your elite Jesuits that are putting contracts on people's heads contracts on people's heads to kill them if they got in their own. In politics, in policing, in justice systems, everything is disrupted. You can see by looking at that video of the Jesuits doing that, that black guy, doesn't matter what colour they are, they're all the same. They are sworn to the Jesuits oath, which is kill you, cut your guts, poison you, and do everything to you to kill you. To to take everything off you. You got no heart, we'll soon finish off that heart with the people's power. Okay? This is the people's power flag of freedom through the world under the king. Okay, you haven't got a king. That's your trouble. You haven't you got a queen, Elizabeth. She's gonna get hung. I'm going there to sack her off our Queen Victoria Trust. And she hasn't got a real coronation either. She's the most corrupt woman in this world. There, 
doing this to you British people. Wake up, you people. You're being shafted by that woman. And she's a Jesuit. She's a Jesuit that's tied up with these ones inside that panel of judges or panel of congressmen who are doing Hillary Clinton's email fraud investigation. Now, they are disrupting due process. That's what I'm saying. The same here with these police here. In the CIB, it's the same as those FBI. The FBI people are okay. It's those people in the Jesuits running it. They are running it with money that they're stealing off the people. And so are they doing that here too with John Key. You're liable, John Key. You're liable. On the Eastern Shore, our culture, our lifestyle is to hunt and fish. I don't know where that goes. We have the best waterfowl hunting of anywhere around. So okay, so um, um, I'm saying to John Key, I'm exposing you and your government. We're going to keep you there as levy debtors against your 970 million trillion trillion pound note spread amongst your elite, elite people and your church and state and all your Jesuits and all your ministers in the parliament the whole lot of you, and all the retired ones as well, and all the ones sitting on money getting paid doing nothing. We're going to strip you with this by the people's choice. Okay, so my case, it's obvious that there's just too much online now evidence against anyone who has not refuted what I'm saying. It's at an end now, and Whatever we say goes. We're going to bill you anything on the pound note. That's it. You had your chance to refute what I'm saying. This is an affidavit as well as all the other videos are making affidavits. So that's what I want to say to Shannon when I eventually get to see him. I'm going down the East Coast for a week um, and I'll deal with it when I come back. I'll deal with the matter when I come back with my court hearing because there's no set court date yet. I only got this um, um, disclosure at the end bit of it and Shannon has not disclosed the other bits to it to me or the court itself uh, wanted it but the police are the ones giving it over. They've been ordered to give me full disclosure. I'm waiting for the full disclosure and I meant the mystery man as well the person who countersigned what I signed to get out of prison with a bail bond. I want to find who is acting as John Wanoa in the capital letters, that person. All you persons, all you corporate legal persons with capital names and companies too are liable. You're all liable. The iwis are liable. All you iwi Maoris are liable. The whole lot of you right through the country. All in it. Your boss, John Key, has libeled the whole lot of you. He's liable. The Governor General is liable. Jerry Matapurai Andrews, I'm warning, just a warning to the British military and the British Prime Minister, Theresa May and Boris Johnson, the Secretary, Foreign Secretary, that John Key is a fraud. Jesuit. And so is Jerry Mataprai, who is coming there to be the ambassador for here. We forbid that. My chiefs forbid it. King Itaurua forbids it. He's the only chief on that Mariah from Napui, representing Napui tribes and his flag, condemns Jerry Mataprai, Governor General, from being representing this country and our Hapu. He's on the Jesuit side. He's with that lot, with the Queen. The Queen, they all get the bill and they're liable to the Hanging and Chains Act 1834 any time soon. The same as Hillary Clinton and Obama is now liable to this martial law. The real martial law. Not his one-man martial law. Okay, so that's, that's what I really wanted to stress strongly about my court case that I'm waiting this long. I'm going to complain 
to the uh, Law Society, New Zealand Law Society, why it took so long for this letter to come to me. The letter to come to me with a little bit of the end disclosure and not the rest of it. And why holding me out so long to get Natalie Flower Dew Brown pulled into court. Because I asked the judge, Collins, for full disclosure. He granted it. I asked to have Natalie Flower Dew Brown subpoenaed to court. He granted it. I haven't seen any of those happen yet. Because although the judge said it, the police are not playing the game. Just same as Hillary Clinton and the FBI. They are not playing. The CIB is the same as the F FBI in America is behaving erratically in front of the whole world watching on my site. Right? There's a lot of people watching me and what's happening here watching you, watching me and seeing who makes a wrong move. So <clears throat> I'm saying you're all libeling each other every step of the way. The longer it takes, the worse it gets. You're getting billed a trillion pounds a day. That's what I warned the police that. I warned them. I warned the owners in that land block. I warned all the people in there, those witnesses on those landowner side and Natalie Flower Dew Brown side. They've stacked up all those people are liable. You're going to lose everything. All those people with their names in there, in lowercase and uppercase, Natalie Flower Dew Brown put their names in uppercase on the papers she used to arrest me, and now the names are in this one, with the other police put them in lowercase, that's contradicted the other one on a legal issue. They're playing around with law, they don't they're not qualified to make those statements, right? They are not lawyers, and they're breaking laws left, right, and centre, and that's going against them. I'm stacking it up. I'm stacking it up against them. Okay, that's all for that. Um, I'm going to enjoy my, my trip away on the Mana bus, and <clears throat> I'm going fishing uh, on a lighter note. I've got my fishing rod here today. Yeah, it's not a new one, but it's one that is ready to go. And all I have to do is put these bits, swivels, and clips, hooks, and sinker. and soft bait to make the fish come to me. They'll come to me if I put something nice with them. And then, with my trusty drone, send it off out to them, with the camera looking around for them. And all that's going to happen is this. I get on this, switch it on. Yep. And the it shows you how to drive it on here. I can see the throttle to make it go fast like that way. Slow, fast, slow. To the left, turn to the right, turn that way, laterally, and this one to turn around in circle, this one, and forward and back, forward, back, around, around, yeah, oh, sideways, that way, sideways, that way, forward, back, and this one goes around your, around that way, and fast, slow, fast, more, faster, yeah, slower, and fine-tuning here, fine-tuning ones. So that there will allow me to take the hook, take the hook, hook, which is weight on, and the weight of the 
weight of the bait I can put a heavier bait on because Mr. Snapper he can see it floating around but it's just enough weight in it to sink and the sinker is on the hook see that's a uh, cutting weight and then you hook this bit on this soft bait then put a bit of bait on it and let it go so the master will take it out you see his little eye at the front camera he goes and then he looks down he sees the fish and he goes plop drops it drops this in the water and next minute Next minute, this thing starts gaping badly until I've got to drive that back, otherwise it's going to go to Hawaii. If I don't stop him, then his battery will run out. Uh, so I've got to get him back. I've got to control that while I'm hooking him in, reeling him in, and bring him back. I've got to work, try and work with two hands, pull the big fish, and pull this fellow back. I put it on automatic. It's, I just saw it. It's got a homing device. So it'll just come and it'll just stop right there. And all I do is pick him up, switch it off and that's his job done. And while I'm practically doing this and bringing in the bacon, well fish, not bacon, into shore. So it's got a nice spool on it. It's got a nice heavy spool, so you don't need a long casting one that's like a normal uh, spool. All you need is the winding bit to bring, bring it back and a stronger looking um, rod. We're going to have a bit of problem if you get something big on that one. But we're only looking for medium sized fish, not big fish. Medium sized fish will do. Pen size. But if we get a big fish on it, well, we're in trouble because it looks a bit young, this rod. I've seen Matt Taylor pulling a big fish in on us, a rod like this. So I've got some 35 pound line. I don't know, that one there is a bit wide. And the weight of that line has got to, this has got to lift it up. Uh, I, I don't know if there's enough power in there, not, not the whole spool, but the line itself. It's got to lift it up, up there, um, at least 100 metres up in the air. And then it's got to take the hook, it's got to take the hook out. Or it's got to carry the hook in the bag out. And it's looking at the camera, it's looking around, it's going around looking for fish. When he sees fish, drops. You've got to put the hook over here like a coat hanger thing. And to drop it off, it's just like it's hooked forward. You're going forward and the hook is that way. So when you get out there, you've got to turn the control left like that so it drops off. It drop, drops off and the, the loop on your line on the end of your hook, your hook and your tracer, it's got a tracer on it, will drop off, will drop off, I'm getting excited when I look at this, will drop off down and the weight, this, this has got enough weight in the hook itself to take the bait, weight of the bait, so this has got to be powerful enough to lift it. The weight of the hook, the bait, that's why I say you know, you've got to get the weight right and uh, make sure it can actually lift it off the ground, enough power in the batteries to lift it up and take it out. We've got six batteries all together, so it, you've got only a space of 10 minutes to take the line out. You should be gone time it to, I'll time it on my Fitbit watch and uh, to go only out uh, three minutes. Three minutes is long enough, three, five, five minutes 
out and five minutes back. So I'll go out three minutes, drop it, then spin around and come back, and um, that should do the trick. If you can see fish, then it's easier to just let it go and scoot back before the batteries run out. But a bit of practice should do that. Um, and I think we're going to have fun um, with that. And we've got our battery charger down here to put the USB in and charge it up. The charger. The charger is um, That's the charger here that, that just takes five of the batteries. So you've, you've got a constant supply of batteries from this jumper plugs into the USB on here. I saw it somewhere. The USB. Good. Where is it? Oh, yeah. USB on it. Just there. Oh, that's, that's. oh, at the back here. Um, so, of course, it didn't have one. So there we go. The charger is in. It's a big, heavy-duty battery charger, and then the battery clips in. You can put five on at a time, and. Batteries in. And that's all it takes. They're full because the lights are not on. When the lights are on, it's flat. So that's that. <coughs> so we're well armed for our little venture. And we can charge the. Um, I've got to get another phone tomorrow. Uh, smartphone that goes into the holder. My other phone, my skinny phone, is too wide. It's a smartphone, so the smartphone's got to go, it's got to fit in there, but the screen on the big one is better. If I can make that other one work, I'll just turn that off, and uh, so you can see this fella, that's what he looked like. UFO. He's, he's dancing around with his lights. There. You see that coming towards you. And fish got no chance. Uh, so um, it's fancy, but I think if we master it, we'll be doing pretty well. I'll go across the Waiheke Island with the gold card across on the ferry. So I'm able to go there and sit on the beach and go for it, or even Mission Bay and have a bit of time out um, after all the stress on this video stuff and take, uh, take a bit of recreation and go out there and do some things. So that's that and we've got the dive equipment here. We've got the Aqualung but I'm not going to take it this time. I'll wait for the weather to come right but I'll take my dive gear and the hat to keep me warm and the dark suit over there and the crayfish, crayfish bag, yeah, this is what I like doing, I, I like diving, more so, I'm more safer under the sea than I am on the road, and when I drove to Tarwick, it's just a med on the roads, um, the amount of cars there are now, and in the earlier days, it's just astronomical, you know, the cars on the road, and they're moving fast as well. Cars are, are travelling much faster these days. Um, but uh, that's me, Jamie. You have my rod. You're not coming down the East Coast uh, to see this work. I've just got to um, get this sorted out. I don't know how it works yet, but I will soon fix that up. 
sort that out. Um, but that's one ride anyway. I got it for the right price. I, I, I've seen some other good ones, but I haven't got time. I'll just grab the first one and just sit and spend too much time looking for a ride. And uh, I'll pick up another one another time, but that, that'll do the job. So that's really what I wanted to say. So I'll just uh, carry on and working. I spend a lot of time online um, to bring this court case on Cook Street to a head. I want those two landowners locked up. I want all those people who got in my road locked up because they've held me up. I've got a lot of work to do. And for the policeman, Tim Duffy, to say to me, he laughs when I say I'm going to develop that land block. You sit and watch how I do things. I've been in this business of contracts for a long time, uh, Mr. Tim Duffy detective in the CIB, you're a crooked, you're a crooked, as well as Aaron Pascoe, crooked policeman, you shouldn't be in there, you're not worthy to be on these lands, and that's what my chief says, my chief says you're not fit enough to be in the police force, most of you people inside there are good people, but there are these mongrels in there, and you're one of them, you're both Two of them and Natalie Flower, Dewey Brown. I'm saying this about you because you people are corrupted. You people are corrupted and you stop me from doing my job. These are our lands. I have the legal authority, the legitimate authority to audit you, to investigate you on our lands. These are native lands that you're playing around with with crooked laws and your Jesuits here, I'm going to check them all out with our sheriffs. Anyone wants to be a sheriff, you might as well stack your names up before long because we'll be looking for people to go and look around for you people operating forward business, private contracts and duping the normal people out with your fraud fiat money and your fraud birth certificates and fraud names making money illegal okay that's all I can say but I'm feeling quite good about this fisheries game fishing game because that's where I spent most of my time in the early years in the sea so I'm going to go look after the sea train up people to dive uh, with proper dive trainers and to go in, find who is poisoning the fish, who is poisoning the skies, the food and everything, you'll get caught. You'll get caught with this flag around. There'll be marshals and uh, sheriffs to check every piece of land, every person's business and every law broken. It's our business, it's fraud business, and also tidal energy turbines coming up. The economy, the hydrogen economy, is our business. Trade is this flag. Free passage through the world is this flag. Jurisdiction of Admiralty law, martial, court martial law, martial law is our business. Protecting our trade and banking is our business. Power note is our business. Recovering of debts is our business. Okay, so that's all I want to say. And we'll cut it right there. We'll see you later. I might make one more video before I go down to Gisborne and um, meet up with my nephew. We're going to go over the land block and he will learn a lot about buildings, about concrete, about steel, construction, about all the things I ever did, and including flying aircraft, and scuba diving, and fishing, and whatever else, law, and politics. Okay, Boris Johnson, I want to see you over here, and
talk business on the same level to recover all the debts, all the debts I'm saying against those Jesuits and everybody else in the Scottish Rite, all those things that are offensive and repugnant to our King's Laws, 1838 and 37, Westminster Parliament. Okay, we apply those here at that time here, the Pacific Islands, and the rest of the world for that matter, but with Britain, it has changed its laws from that law, not us. We apply the old laws of the pirates of the sea against all those pirates who are using our pirates' law for their business. Okay, that's all. See you later. Have a good evening, and we'll see you again soon. Bye.